of that. It's just absolutely beautiful up here. Good evening everybody from beautiful Idaho. Well, my wife and son and I decided to do a weekend trip up to the Sawtooth Range in Idaho. We've never been up here before and I know it's a beautiful area and so we decided to come up. So we just finished getting camp set up. I've got some hot dogs cooking over there on the grill and I'm gonna get something to eat tonight and then we'll be getting a fairly early start in the morning because there's some pictures that I want to try to go get. Um, I've already gotten some that I think are pretty decent. We've got uh, this pretty little creek that's running behind our camp here. You can probably hear it in the background but there's all sorts of like willow type brush running along there uh, which is uh, all changing color which is amazing. We're uh, second weekend in October right now so it's been kind of a warm fall and that uh, I think explains why the leaves are still around but uh, I know there have been some years where we would have already had uh, snow in the mountains in many places so not this year which kind of in a way works out to our advantage because we're getting to camp still and check out some really pretty areas up here and the temperatures aren't that bad. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt right now and it's cool but it's not freezing. Pretty good camping weather in my book. So anyway, we'll take you along for the expedition, hopefully get some interesting things. We did look at a camp spot just down there a little ways and there were really fresh elk tracks through there. Like by really fresh I mean today or last night. So. Uh, clearly there's elk in here. Wouldn't be surprised if we have some move through camp tonight. Uh, I doubt I would be able to hear any bugling just with the river. And it is starting to get a little bit late, although a lot of the second cycle cows will still be coming in or about to come in. So anyway, beautiful evening, beautiful camp spot. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. Morning everybody. Next day. I'm up here at uh, Stanley Lake. Try to get some pictures this morning. It's a really pretty morning. There's clouds to the east, nothing to the west, which is a little unfortunate. But there's a uh, fog and stuff over the lake, which should give a cool effect. It was pretty chilly this morning when we left camp. The truck said 27 initially, but then when we drove a little further, it dropped to 23. It didn't feel that cold, but yes, it is. 27 sitting here, so. Anyway, I'm going to see if we can get the shot figured out that I want to do. We'll have enough time before the light starts hitting that peak because it's not going to be long, so it'll take you long. I'm not super familiar, well, I'm not familiar at all with this area.
shots here. All right, so I think I got some really good shots. It's just absolutely beautiful up here. The reflection in the water has been amazing. The sun hitting the peak has been amazing. The only thing that's not amazing is somebody's flying a drone up here. I know that you can get some really cool video and cool pictures and all that type of stuff with drones, but you also got to keep in mind if you're flying a drone up here, A, hopefully you have the right permissions to do so, but B, just remember that there's other people up here trying to enjoy the peace and quiet and listening to something that sounds like a giant mosquito is not enjoyable when it's really early in the morning. So just also be mindful that there's other people up here enjoying the peace and quiet in the mountains. So anyway, I think I'm gonna start working back over towards the car and we'll, we'll explore some other areas. All right, so we've been exploring some and uh, that's the view we've had for our breakfast spot, but Lex is trying out a new look here. <laughs> I think it's pretty good on him. Do you like your look, buddy? Yeah? <laughs> the tag and all. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to keep the sun off his head. creative with our language so there you go all right buddy let's go back up all right we're hiking the redfish trail i think is what it's called Okay, so we're back at camp. Uh, it was a pretty hike, but we uh, made a rookie mistake and forgot to grab diapers and stuff for Lex, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time up there. So we need to get back in time, which was good. So anyway, we're back at camp now, getting dinner cooked, and then uh, based on the cloud structure around here, I think it's going to be a pretty sunset based on what it did yesterday. So. The plan is to go back over to where we were this morning where there's kind of like a big overlook of a significant portion of the mountain range. And uh, I think what I saw driving here, if that cloud structure remains the same or nominally the same, uh, I think it should be a good sunset and probably be able to get some really pretty pictures. So that's the plan right now. So for dinner tonight, we've got uh, burritos. So heating up in the pot here. We've got uh, chicken that was cooked in the crock pot and some salsa. And then there's rice and beans in there. We'll heat up the skillet once the meat is warm. Sprinkle some cheese, put the meat and all that stuff on there. 
add tomatoes if you want it you end up with kind of a crispy burrito which is really good so looking forward to that after today and this method always works really well you just take a you basically make a foil pack some people call them like hobo dinners but uh, like how I do it is taking pre-cooked meals using a steamer like this to uh, warm it up 10 minutes you got a hot meal and the cleanup is super easy so it's hard to beat alright we're out at the overlook point I was talking about you can see the significant portion of the mountain range I'm trying to get here cloud structure looks good so we'll see do some layering but should be able to get them to work okay I think we'll see either way pretty sunset to watch regardless head back to camp so we can get that little guy in there to bed all right well first off I want to say thank you for uh, watching my video I uh, hope you enjoyed it I hope it was something that was interesting uh, if this is the type of stuff that you like to watch, you find interesting, uh, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. Of course, that always helps, as everybody says in these types of videos. So um, I would appreciate it if you do like this type of content. I'm planning on doing a lot more of this in the future. Uh, I've been toying with the idea of getting into photography for some time now. I've always had an interest there. I will definitely, in future videos, and as I start to learn more, uh, post and discuss things related to kind of some tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way and things that work for me for the different shots that I'm taking. And as well, out in the field, I'm planning on uh, doing a lot more discussion as far as the settings and that type of stuff that I'm using to get these shots as well as some of the post-processing stuff that I'm doing. I do want this to be a constructive environment. I, I know that so much of the time, the social media side of things um, can get really nasty. And I think there's enough of that in this world that I don't want this platform to be one of those. I want this to be something that's positive and encouraging and really focused on the, the amazing creation uh, that God has given us. So yeah, we'll see where this goes. I uh, will catch you on the next one.